This video is brought to you by PlayAsia.com. Tokyo Mario Sessions Encore finally released last month, and with it came a new summoning focus update for Fire Emblem Heroes. The Nintendo mobile game added four Tokyo Mario Sessions characters via the cross promotion, and a player has got in touch with the channel with something they discovered about this in the Japanese version of the game. As should have been expected, the English release keeps the localization changes that were made to Tokyo Mario Sessions when it was originally released for the Wii U. However, it turns out that the the Japanese version of Fire Emblem Heroes is also based on the English version. This can be seen in the official Fire Emblem Heroes trailer when comparing the English version of the trailer with the Japanese one. In the English version, Tsubasa says that she's 18 years old. I'm Tsubasa Oribe, age 18. I'm an idol with Fortuna Entertainment, and I'm giving it all I've got. And in the Japanese version, she also says that she's 18 years old, aka Juhasai. Oribe Tsubasa, Juhasai. The character was originally 17 years old, but this got raised one year higher for the English version, likely due to concern over her non-adult age and how this would be perceived by Western markets. In the new Switch re-release, Tokyo Mario Sessions Encore, Nintendo made a surprise announcement when they revealed that the Japanese version of the game would be entirely based on the English version of the game. The English version had many more changes to it than just raising ages, and what makes this Fire Emblem Heroes info especially interesting is that it now appears that the English changes will possibly be used for any new Tokyo Mario Sessions content in Japan, and that it wasn't just for the Switch port. Reactions in Japan to the Western version becoming the global version have been mixed. Over on Amazon Japan, the game currently sits with a 3.4 out of 5 rating from 70 reviews. However, the English alterations are mentioned in many of the lower reviews. Then there was also a controversy in Japan over Nintendo not informing customers of the English changes prior to opening up pre-orders, and also using screenshots from the original Japanese version. Due to the backlash, this led to Nintendo making a formal apology to players and offering refunds to anybody who had already pre-ordered the game. What do you think about Tokyo Mario Sessions English localization going on to become global? As always, please ask us your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos on regional differences in games. Until next time, thank you for watching.